Hello BCSD students, grades 3 through 12. This short video will provide a brief introduction to artificial intelligence, also known as AI. Learning new technologies can be tricky. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a field of computer science. Questions we will explore include, what is AI? What kinds of tasks can AI do? And how can we use AI safely and responsibly? Relax and enjoy this two minute video. You've probably heard a lot about AI recently, but what is it really? AI or artificial intelligence is when we teach computers how to do things that usually require human intelligence, like identifying an object, understanding human speech, and even talking. But how do you teach a computer to learn and think? Well, it's kind of like when you train a pet to do tricks. Think of AI as a robot dog that you're training to fetch a toy. At first, your robot dog might not even know what a dog toy is. So that's the first thing you need to teach it. You show it lots of pictures of dog toys so that it learns to recognize them quickly and easily. It might make some mistakes at first, but with each correct answer, it gets a reward. Over time, the dog's recognition improves, the same way you improve at any task the more you do it. And once the robot dog gets really good at recognizing what a dog toy is, you can move on to teaching it the next step of playing fetch, running after the toy and bringing it back to you. This is basic AI, which learns by analyzing lots of data, in this case, pictures of dog toys and how to play fetch. But there's something even more complex called generative AI, which is more like a creative robot that can improvise when it comes to making art or writing. Unlike the robot dog, the creative robot learns from everything on the internet. Videos, text, photos, you name it. When you ask it a question or give a hint, it uses what it has learned from the internet to create new things, like answers, stories, or even pictures. But here's the catch. That creative robot can sometimes make mistakes, and it doesn't know the difference between good and bad. It doesn't know if what it creates is helpful or hurtful. It can't always tell facts from fiction or know where its information comes from. It might even use someone's work without crediting them. It just sucks up all the random or not so random information that's floating out there on the internet. That's why we, as humans, have to think hard and be critical about the information we receive from AI. We have to know what it does well and what it doesn't do well. As we use generative AI in our lives, remember that we have to be smart and responsible with how we use it. Berkeley County School District has guidelines to ensure we use technology safely and responsibly. Let's break down these guidelines so we understand what this means for you as students. Using AI has risks. Sometimes these technologies collect and store your information. It's important to protect any information that is specific information about you. For example, your phone number is unique to you or your family. Your address and full name are also considered personal identifiable information that is unique to you. Sometimes AI technologies can produce information that is not correct. This is also true when we do internet searches. Always check the information for correctness. Another risk with using AI technologies is that sometimes the results are biased. Think about a scale that has a heavier weight on one side. It's going to fall to the heaviest side. The data that AI uses may sometimes produce a result that shows only one side. For example, Imagine that you are using AI to gather information about teaching or nursing jobs. When you see the results, all of the information uses words like she or her. This is an example of bias because the results might make you think teachers and nurses are always female, when in fact, this is not true. Let's pause and think. True or false, everything AI produces is correct, so I don't need to check it. Five seconds on the clock. That's false. 
Everything AI produces is not always correct. You should always check for correctness. True or false? AI might produce information that shows bias, such as only displaying pictures of male scientists. That is true. AI can produce results that are biased. We know there are plenty of female scientists. True or false? Sharing personal information like my full name, phone number, and address is fine with AI. Five seconds on the clock. That's false. It's important to protect your personal identifiable information. There are more potential risks with AI. Notice the person on the left looking at the paper of his classmate. Hmm, is there a problem with that? Cheating has been around a long time, even before computers. Today, we also need to think about the risks of using generative AI. Could using AI be considered cheating or plagiarism? It's important that we understand it is not appropriate to use generative AI all the time. We need to know what each teacher expects and allows for our assignments. If your teacher gives you permission to use Gen AI, then you have a green light and approved use would not be considered cheating. However, if your teacher doesn't specifically tell you AI is allowed, you should always ask before using it to help with your school assignments. Remember, there are penalties for cheating. Cheating is against the Berkeley County School District's Student Behavior Code. We want to make sure we are all using AI responsibly. There are age restrictions for movies, getting your driver's license, and voting, and AI technologies are no different. You must be 18 to use ChatGPT and Google Gemini or have parent permission if you're at least 13. The AI technologies that you will be using in school are all district approved. On BCSD devices, you will only have access to technologies that are approved for your age. Using AI responsibly also means respecting others. Digital citizenship applies to the use of AI. Don't use AI to hurt or offend others. Remember, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Always choose kindness. True or false? It's okay if I use AI to complete my homework assignment, even though my teacher didn't say whether or not AI or any technology could be used. Five seconds on the timer. That's false. It's not okay. If your teacher did not say you may, then you should not use it. Always ask first. True or false? I used AI to complete my homework assignment. I can just copy the response from AI and submit it as my own work. Five seconds on the timer. This is false. This is considered cheating and is in direct violation of the Berkeley County Student Behavior Code. Hmm, all of this was super interesting. I want to know more. Let's learn about a specific technology called generative AI. You may have heard about generative AI tools such as ChatGPT and Google Gemini. There are many more with more coming. Let's learn some tips about them. Lately, everyone's talking about artificial intelligence or AI and how it could change things. But spoiler alert, at Google, AI is not that new at all. We first used it in 2001 when we launched our spell check system on Google search. Today, AI is in many Google products that billions of people already use. Historically, AI was used to understand and recommend information. Now, generative AI can help us create new content, such as images, music, and code, all with a simple prompt. But as with anything new, it's important to understand the do's and don'ts so you can get the most out of generative AI responsibly. AI is a machine learning model, not a human. When you interact with generative AI, you'll enter a prompt and the response might seem so unique you may wonder if it's human. But AI can't think for itself or feel emotions. It's just great at picking up patterns. This is called training. 
Take, for example, a text-to-image model. It learns what a sneaker is through being trained on millions of sneaker photos. Over time, the model recognizes that sneakers are things humans wear on their feet, with laces, soles, and often a logo. This allows the model to take an input, such as generate an image of a sneaker with a pizza charm, connect what it's learned about sneakers, pizza, and charms, and generate an image, even if it's never seen an image exactly like that before. Use AI to empower, assist, and inspire you. Experiences powered by generative AI can help you kickstart the creative process, but they're not there to do the work for you. That's your role as the creator. To get started, you might use AI to ask questions you didn't think could be answered, like which came first, the chicken or the egg, or get help identifying that animal species you're curious about by using an image. It can even help you brainstorm creative ideas for that prequel you want to write about your favorite movie. AI can and will make mistakes. Generative AI is a work in progress, and it can make mistakes. It may make things up. This is known as a hallucination. Say you ask, who will be the top gymnast in 2035? The response may predict someone, even though there is no way to truly know. It may also misunderstand things. For instance, you ask for information about bats. It might tell you about the type that's used in baseball or those winged mammals that live in caves. Critically evaluate responses. Always check information that's presented as fact. When in doubt, double check it with Google search. Have a great time. We hope you are as excited as we are to utilize GED AI to help you reach your potential. Together, we can make a positive difference.